All right, I want to have a look at how much time has gone by. So let's say, for example, I start work at 6.45 a.m. And I finish doing the work I've been trying to do. I finish that by 9.30 a.m. And what I want to know is how long did it take me to do that work? Now, one of the ways I find easiest to figure this out is to draw a little timeline. So I say, okay, let's say I started at 6.45 a.m. and I finished at 9.30 a.m. and I want to figure out how long it took me in between. Well, the first thing I do is I find the closest hours. So from 6.45 I jump and I say the closest hour to that above it, not the closest hour, next hour after 6.45 is going to be 7.00. And then I also look from here, from the ending point, I look at what's the closest hour before that, and I say it is at 9. Okay, how many hours have I, how long have I jumped? If I go from 6.45 till 7, you should be able to work out, that is 15 minutes. And if I go from here, 9 to 9.30, that is 30 minutes. Okay, now it's very easy to work out. I can say to myself, okay, if I've got to go all the way from 6.45 to 9.30, I first jump, I take 15 minutes to get to 7. Then it's very easy for me to see that to get to 9, well, from 7 to 9, that's 2 hours. And then to get all the way to the end point, which is 9.30, that's another 30 minutes. So in total, I have done 2 hours... And then I say 15 plus 30, it's 45 minutes. And I have my answer easily. Okay, I want to do another example quickly. Uh, here we're going to start at 9.10 and we're going to finish at 11.23. And both of these are PM, so that makes it easier. All right, my little method is to say, okay, what's the nearest hour after 9.10 and that's 10. And what's the one we'll come to just before we come to 11.23? That's 11. Then I do my jumps. Right, from 9.10 to 10, that's going to be 50 minutes. From 10 to 11, that's one hour. And from 11 to 11.23, that's 23 minutes. So how long is it in total? Well, it's one hour. And then 50 plus 23 is 73 minutes. Now, hopefully the minute you look at this and you see 73 minutes, I know that there are 60 minutes is equal to one hour. So I must ask myself, well, how many 60s are there inside there? Well, there is one 60 and there are 13 minutes left over. So it's going to be two hours and 13 minutes, right? 73 minutes is 60 minutes plus 13 minutes. So it's one hour and 13 minutes. So you've got one, two hours and 13 minutes in total in between 9.10 and 11.23. Okay, I want you to try this last little one for yourself. I start at 10.40 a.m., end at 3.50 p.m. How long has it been? Pause the video now and try it in your homework book. All right, so this one we go in the same way as we always have. I'm first going to say, well, first after 10.40, I'll get to 11, and before 3.50, I'll get to 3. But the very important thing to notice here is that we're dealing with a.m. and p.m. So if you're going from the morning till the afternoon, or the afternoon till the evening, you have to go through 12. And I like to put that in just to remind me, um, and I kind of make it clear for myself because after 12 o'clock you go back to one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock right so what can we do here we can say okay 10 40 to 11 that's 20 minutes then to get to 12 that's one hour then from 12 to 3 you go one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock so that is three hours and then from 3 to 350 is 50 minutes so what do we have here? We've got 4 hours and we've got 50 plus 20, that's 70 minutes. 
And again, we notice this immediately is bigger than 60. So this is made up of 70 minutes. It's 60 minutes plus 10 minutes. So it's an hour and 10 minutes. So we get five hours. 10 minutes is our total time.